We use MapWorks because it gives students a chance to assess their own adjustment to college, and we think that has great value. It's different than us asking them certain kinds of survey questions, doing it when we ask them to do it. It really is different when they're doing it themselves. MapWorks is a tool that the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh has been using for about six years. Um, the Department of Residence Life has taken a very proactive approach on its use in the last two years. And it's a piece of software that includes three surveys that we use for student success, student retention, and student engagement. And so the role of the community advisor is to use the tool to document the interactions with their peers. I would say that it paints a picture for us. It paints a picture not only of where the individual student is at in relation to their own adjustment to college, but also it paints a picture of a wing or a floor, which really helps our student staff and our professional hall staff know where their people are at. MapWorks is awesome because it gives you just the vital information that you need floor specific stuff for. Um, so rather than um, putting on a program that didn't fit the needs of my residents or um, didn't, you know, quite get the, the gist of it, you know, you can do an arts and crafts program that no one's either going to show up to or you can do a program about um, saving money for college and everyone shows up to that based on the needs of your floor because you, you saw the MapWorks data and you were able to um, you know, adjust your programming based on, on the needs of the MapWorks stuff. I think one of the biggest things it did for me was help me ask those hard questions that you have to ask residents like are you homesick, are you doing well in school, how are your grades, how are you, you know, getting involved in campus. So what I found is MapWorks does the hard part of asking the question um, when they get the survey and then when you get that information it helps you narrow down who you should talk to. Everyone has a very different experience. We're here to go to school, we're here to be successful, but when you are looking at the data, you can identify some, some real opportunities for those specific groups. For new CAs, the, the biggest thing is just to kind of chip away at it. Take, take it in small chunks, because if you, you try to capitalize on MapWorks um, programming for your floor or logging contacts or even working with your RHD, you kind of get lost in it and it, it might be confusing to, to understand it and, and handle it. MapWorks has a lot of moving parts to it, a lot of buttons, a lot of how do you look at this, how do you get this data, how do you go into it and, and become, I would say, become uh, very well of how the, the instrument um, works what are all the parts of it, the reports, how you can get to data, identify um, you know, the specific tools that you need to, to um, gather the information that you need to help the people living in the halls. Um, if, if you wait until you have been asked or required to do it, uh, it, it takes a, a, level, a certain level of commitment to become proficient with it. For new CAs, I know for me it was a struggle to get residents to take it in the beginning um, and it's really, you just feel defeated when you, you go to somebody's door five times and they haven't taken it yet. Um, so my advice would just be to don't be discouraged and um, you know get them to take it because once they take it, it's worth it, you're going to use it, it's really going to help you out. So get them to take it, don't give up. Basically I overwhelmed them with information on it so they couldn't not take it. And then I explain the benefits of doing it and what we use it for and why it's important. What I do is I build relationships with them as quick as possible. Try to get to know them, just be like straightforward with them and that tends to pay off when I'm asking them to actually do the MapWorks portion of it. Bringing up risk factors is always a, it's a hard topic to talk about because it's your peers and it's never easy to talk to your peers about subjects like homesickness and grades and school and whatever. But um, normally I'd uh, go into a conversation and start off with the normal, hey, how's it going? How's your day? What are you doing? Um, and then if you know from MapWorks that they're struggling with homesickness, um, I would just say like, hey, did you go home this weekend or how was your weekend? and I would slowly bring it up in conversation in kind of a natural way because I find it awkward and I know some people do this and if it works for you that's fine but I find it awkward to just straight up say hey I looked at MapWorks and I saw that you were homesick let's talk about it. 
I think it's it's more natural if um, you bring it up in a conversation like, did you go home this weekend? Oh, well, do you get to go home often? And then maybe they'll open up to you if they feel like they can just talk to you naturally about it. If they come at you like a question like, oh, hey, how do you know this stuff? Just explain the MapWorks process the day that we have confidentiality of it. Um, it's just a really cool tool for getting to know residents and addressing those concerns that you have for them. I decide when to log a contact whenever I think the information I'm putting in could help someone else help my resident. So if it's maybe um, they're struggling with the breakup or they're struggling with classes, that could help a professor, it could help an RHD or a counselor. So trying to put in information that would help a professional help them if they went to someone for help. From the RHD standpoint, for us, they are able to get us some floor specific data. They're able to get us some building data so we kind of get the general feel of our building at the same time, so that's really cool. ARHDs and RHDs have more access to data than community advisors do. So if you're seeing a resident struggle, asking them maybe if they can take a look at their personal data and seeing what you can do and kind of action plan from there. Um. Getting people to take it can be a hassle because they don't necessarily always see the benefits of taking it. Um, so those couple weeks where it's open for them to take, you really have to get on it or none of them will take it. This isn't just some kind of data for the university. Like we're using this data now where the university is using it. Um, through advisors, CAs, coaches even, like a lot of people have access to this information in a way that's going to help the students. If you can push through that, whatever, it's like two weeks that it's open, if you can push through that and get as many residents as you can to take it, it's worth it and you will use it to help your community. For me, one of the most frustrating things is that the people I know need most to complete it are the ones that don't complete it. And I think that, although we, I think we're around 90% completion right now, which is excellent for first year students, um, I'd like to see that go even higher. And I would also like to see us explore more of what we can do with our second year students in terms of map works, because I'm not sure that we're as good at matching responses to their, their data as we are with our first year students. I know how good map works is, and I know what it can do for us as a department, as a hall, as a staff on the back end, because they don't realize what it can do for them, and then in turn what we can do for them with the data that we get. I think MapWorks is an incredibly powerful tool yet that is still, you know, evolving over time. We've been at it for six years and every year we found some new things. Um, I think ultimately and the very basic use of it is uh, student success, student retention. Well, I would try to tell them that MapWorks can be their friend because they think they know their students, but they probably don't know them as well as they think they do. So when they see MapWorks data, it really shows them a, a much more complete picture of what they, they had before. Keep your chin up because a lot of times it's not going to be easy to have your residents take that survey. But um, if you persevere, you know, keep following through with it. That data is going to come in such handy, you know, when you're planning events or even talking to residents. I don't know. It's just use it. I guess <laughs> it's helpful. Da -do -bop -bop.